My name is Daniel Bernhardt. I'm the executive director of the Friends of Canadian Broadcasting. Thank you for inviting us to appear today. Our intervention boils down to a single plea. Please do whatever it takes to keep the CBC from abandoning its public purpose. The CBC's mandate is to inform, enlighten, and entertain. These imperatives are not in alphabetical order, yet CBC's commitment to news is far from resolute. Management's decision to cancel all local TV newscasts at the start of the pandemic embodies this disregard. At its best, the CBC has the ability to connect every part of our country. It can tell our stories and reveal our history. It can educate, spark discussion, and keep us abreast of local and national news. The CBC must be a passionate advocate for all Canadians. This is the CBC we need. The distinctiveness of, of the content, the, the cultural purity of that content is what is where Canadians recognize themselves. There's a, a message there and a familiarity that is absolutely indispensable. I've been listening to CBC Radio all my life. I remember a, an ill-informed attempt to put advertising on CBC Radio uh, a few years ago. Uh, it was a disaster. But I've always looked at CBC Radio as one of the few services that is not influenced by advertising. Canada needs one of those things. Now is the time to direct the CBC to avoid any initiatives such as Tandem that would link news reports with corporate goals. One whiff, the slightest scent that the CBC can be bought, that news is mixed at times with advertising, and that's the end of it. The trust, the loyalty, lost. Ms. Tate also told you that the public has not complained about Tandem. Perhaps she forgot the more than 16,000 friends supporters who signed a petition to that effect. I sent it to her personally. You have the power to preserve CBC Radio-Canada as a vital public institution while helping it to improve and evolve. Please use it.